Hello guys, welcome to the Honorable Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about singly and doubly reinforced beams. Let us consider this simply supported beam which is rested on two supports and assume this as a neutral axis and if load is applied on this beam then it will bend like this. So the bend neutral axis will be looked like this and after bending in this beam above the neutral axis all the layers will compress and this zone will called compression zone and below the neutral axis all the layers will get expand so that it is called as tension zone so let us take a look here assume it as the cross section of the previously shown beam and here below the neutral axis if steel bars are provided to take care of the tension then it is called as singly reinforced beam and here there is no reinforcement in the compression zone and again in this cross section of the beam here so if steel bars are placed in the tension zone as well as in the compression zone then this beam is called as doubly reinforced beam so the main difference between these beams are doubly reinforced beam have steel reinforcement in both compression and tension zones whereas in singly reinforced beam the steel reinforcement is provided in only the tension zone but practically singly reinforced beams are not possible because if to take care shear we will place shear reinforcement in the form of stirrups due to lack of support from top side they will not stand exactly in position so whereas in the case of doubly reinforced beam there is proper anchorage from top side also due to placement of steel bars on compression zone also so the stirrups stand firmly so that's why practically always doubly reinforced beams are possible to construct thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share to your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos like this Thank you.